Our Bible lesson for this morning is in the second letter that the Apostle Paul wrote to the Corinthians. We're going to have a break on Mark uh, during this uh, season, not only Thanksgiving, stewardship, and then the Advent is coming, so we're going to have a break uh, on Mark. And we're coming back to Mark and finish Mark, the Gospel of Mark. Next year. Today we're going to talk about stewardship. I don't know if you know, probably we received a letter. Uh, we're talking about that, and that is the time when we do our pledge. So, second letter from Paul, chapter 9, verse 11 through 15. This is what Paul wrote You will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous. On every occasion, and through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. This service that you perform is not only supplying the needs of the Lord's people, but is also overflowing in many expressions of thanks to God. Because of the service by which you have proved yourself, others will praise God for the obedience that accompanies your confession of the gospel of Christ and for your generosity in sharing with them as with everyone else. And in their prayers for you, their hearts will go out to you because of the surpassing grace God has given you. Thanks be to God for His indescribable gift. And this is the word of the Lord. Let us pray. Father, help us to understand your Look what Jesus said to them. 
but you do not realize that you are wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, naked. Yeah. Verse 17 tells the whole story. So that Jesus said, look, you think that you can do things by yourself, right? You think that you can achieve things. You think that you can provide and do and work and all that kind of thing. No, 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 no. The story is a little bit different. In this text here, Paul, it's a beautiful text and every year we pick one part of that to talk. And this year we're going to stay in this text here a couple of weeks because it's a beautiful text talking about stewardship and gratitude. Thanksgiving, those two together. And the season for us couldn't be better because we are beginning the season of Thanksgiving and we are beginning our stewardship and they come together and they are so together that the word Thanksgiving appears four times in this text that I read. Four times there is Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, thanks to God and all of that. So stewardship and Thanksgiving goes together, stay together. All the time, it's very important for us to understand that Thanksgiving is part of the stewardship. It's part of the stewardship. So let's take a look what Paul is telling the church in Corinth and telling us about Thanksgiving and stewardship. Because stewardship is more than money. Stewardship is about Thanksgiving. So the first thing that we learn in this text here, verse 11, we learn the path of thanksgiving. How is the path of thanksgiving? How the thanksgiving happened? Verse 11 says, you will be made rich in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. And through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. What Paul is telling us here is that that is how it works. God will make you rich. That's the first step. I say, yes. Another preacher that will tell us about getting rich if you give a lot of money. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do that. I could. But I'm not going to do that. That is not the point. We need to understand the whole idea of stewardship. It's not about, it's not about money. It's it's about time, it's about talent, it's about giving, it's about serving, it's about participating, getting involved. That is stewardship involves our whole life. And Paul here is saying, look, God is going to give you things. He's going to give you talents, he's going to give you gifts, he's going to give you time, he's going to give you abilities, he's going to give you even money, he's going to give it to you. So that is the, 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 the beginning of the path. God is going to give it to you. He's going to make you rich and we are rich. Look at you. The quality of people, the people that we have, they can sing, they can serve, they can build, they can do stuff that I can believe that we are able to do that, but we find someone that is able to do it. And they can give. So that is God gave it to you. It's very important for us to understand that God gave it to you. And what is the next step on that path? You will be generous. And that is the that is what we need to understand. God gave it to you, not for you just to enjoy what you have. God gave gifts to you, God gave talent to you, God gave ability to you, God gave even money to you. It's not for you just to enjoy those things. No, He gave it to you so you can share with other people. You can share with other people. You can share with the church, you can share with your neighbors, you can share with, the, with people that need. You can be generous. So that is the fact. God gave it to you for you to be generous. And what that's going to happen? What, what's going to happen when we do that? When we receive from God and we give away? There will be thanksgiving. The goal of generosity is thanksgiving to God. When we give, 
we recognize, recognize that God gave to us and we're just sharing what God gave to us. And people that we receive, they need to know that. And it's not because we're good, because we, I have money, I don't know what to do with money, I was trying to, to burn some of them, and it's, uh, it smelled bad and funny. And, and no, it's not because me. God gave it to me. And I gave it. I gave giving it to somebody else. God gave me the ability, and I'm using the ability to help someone. When I do that, God will receive thanks to you. Thanks to you. So that is the path. And Paul teaches one more thing, and let's go there. The double end, uh, the word didn't help me on that. Sorry about that. But it's the double end of our stewardship. There is two main objectives in the stewardship. Two ends of the stewardship. What are we going to do? What that means is stewardship. When we talk about stewardship, our gifts to God, our gifts to people, what, what that means? There's two objectives. Verse 12, it says this, This service that you perform is not only supplying the needs of God's people, but is also overflowing in many expressions of thanks. It's important for us to understand. First of all, it's a service that we perform. We're not doing that because we just lie with you that it's important for us, for the name of our family, for the church, or whatever. No, it's a service. I'm working. We are working. We are serving. So it's very important for us. Stewardship is a service. Not only giving the money, but giving our time, giving our time. It's a, it's a work. It's a hard work. Ask our choir about that. Yeah, they're praising God, but it's a hard work. You have to learn music. You have to learn how to sing. You have to do this. You have to practice. You have to come. You have to, you have to give your time, your talent, all those things. The same thing with the guys who work downstairs and construction, all that kind of things. They have talent. Thank God they have talent. But they, give, they have to find time to do that. They, they have to, they are all. And sometimes we think that this is not worship. It is worship. It is worship. Don't they have a better thing to do? Probably they have a lot of stuff to do in their homes, in their business, in their life that they thought that they would do at this stage of their lives. And now they're here building stuff, cleaning up, and doing all that kind of thing. It's a service. It's a service. The service that we perform, always putting the, the base of it is a service. We perform something. We're serving. But not only that, the two ends come now. It's a service with two equal ends. The first one is supplying the needs of God's people. This is what Paul says here. This service that you perform is not only supplying the needs of God's people. Supplying, there is a need. There is a need in God's people. We need a space to worship, a space for, for fellowship, a space for Sunday school, a space to, to sing, a space to serve. We, we, we have, we have a need. Our brothers and sisters, they need things that we need to provide to them. And we are here. To do the service, to provide that. We have we need to provide the gospel to the lost. We need to provide help for those that need help. And, and we need we have a lot of stuff to do. And there are people of God out there and here that need our help. And this is what we do. Our service will provide for them the needs of God's people to help them get on their feet again. Whatever they need, we will help in some way. And this is why we have so many projects and mission projects and all those things. It's because we're trying to help as many as we could. That's the point. So 
Well, that is one end. There is the second end here. Paul says, but it's also overflowing in many expressions of thanks to God. From everywhere, when we serve Him, when we serve the church, when we serve people in need, and we tell them why we're doing that, we're doing that because of God. God gave to us and we are helping them. What's going to happen? God. God. They will thank God. We will thank God. And they will thank God. Not that they're not thanking us. Yes, they will. But we're giving something that we receive. And when they know that we receive from God and we gave to them, they will thank God. This is why it's so important for us to understand about stewardship as a church because it involves every aspect of our life. God put something in your hand. He put the ability in your heart, in your tongue, in your mind, in your hand, in your body. And He gave it to you. And now you are sharing with other people. And you are telling other people, look, what I'm doing here, I'm doing for the Lord is a servant to the Lord. It's God that is doing this. It's for Him. And people that will receive will understand that. And they will thank God. All the glory will go to the Lord. Those are the two ends of stewardship. Supply the needs of the people and we thank God. Those two come together. Over <coughs> many thanks to God. This is what Paul, that's the expression that Paul uses. The overflowing many thanks to God. So this is, it's very important for us to understand. Stewardship is not about money, it's about thanks. We give, and God receive the glory. Simple like that. Simple like that. It's not us. It's not ours. It's His. We receive from Him. We share with people, and they will thank God. This is how it works. Let us our heads and let us pray. Father, help us to understand stewardship. Help us to understand that stewardship is not about money. It's about thanksgiving. Help us to bring thanksgiving to you. With all the gifts that you gave to us, help us to serve, help us to give, so your name will be glorified. People will thank you. We pray in the name of Jesus.